Hey guys, welcome back to the Full Moral Tech. Excuse us if we sound a little nasally, we've been a little under the weather here, but today we have five PSVR2 accessories to up your gaming experience. We also have a couple little bonus ones at the end, so make sure you stay tuned for the whole video. And in our last video, we did a full in-depth review of the PSVR2, so if you're interested, that'll be down in the description below, the subscribe button. So, without further ado, Damian, what's our first accessory? Well, our first accessory is the charging of PSVR2 uh, sense controller charging dock. Now this is $50. Um, it takes about 90 minutes to charge them, but they only last three to four hours. So if you forget to charge them and you go to play, like one might have more charge than the other, that's going to stop you from being able to play. So, yeah. you know, it's a nice accessory to have. Um, you know, it has these contact packs where you plug it in. You don't have to, uh, you know, have a USB. It's, it's wall powered. So it frees up ports on your, your PF5 console. And it's a little tricky to get them seated in, so you wanna make sure they get seated in right. But, you know, like I said, you know, 90 minutes to charge, only three to four hours of charge on this, and this will make sure that you're up and ready to go at all times. And it's a nice place to store your um, PSVR2 sense controllers when you're not using them. Yeah, I like it. And it obviously fits the aesthetic of it, you know, the PS5 and PSVR and all that stuff. So definitely a nice pickup. Yep. All right, now the PSVR2 does come in, come with built-in earbuds, so, you know, you do have audio right out of the box, but, you know, they sound okay, they don't sound great. I'm personally not a fan of earbuds, so I would definitely recommend picking up a good headset. So we have the Pulse 3D wireless headset from Sony. What I really like about these is they're only $99. They sound really good, they're comfortable, they have this nice adjustable band, Again, because they're from Sony, they also support the 3D Tempest Audio, and they also fit the design aesthetic of the PSVR 2 and the PS5, so it really looks nice. And again, you just if you want a better level of immersion, better sound, definitely want to pick up some kind of headset. It doesn't have to be these, but again, it's nice that they're only $99 and they're really good sound and it, it, it fits the aesthetic, so yep. pick up some headphones. <laughs> All right, next up we have a carrying case. So when you're not using your PSVR 2, it's nice to have it like somewhere where, you know, it's not going to collect a lot of dust, it's going to be protected. Mm -hmm. So picking up this carrying case has a nice hard clamshell. So it protects it nicely. And on the inside, you know, it's very nice on the inside. It does come with a strap too if you're going to like carry yeah, it over your shoulder. Maybe you're taking it somewhere. Yeah, maybe you're taking it somewhere. Yeah. But the inside of this one is like really nice. It's like what is that velvet? Yeah, it's like velvet or <laughs> some kind of like, I like the really nice premium uh, material in there. So it's not going to scratch anything. Mm -hmm. And it's also on the inside. It's molded to fit the the PSVR and the and the uh, Sense controllers. So and it has a little area for you to put your cables yeah, in well, as well. So another accessory that I recommend, because you don't want dust to get on the lenses and everything, and it comes yeah. with uh, lens covers. It does. So bonus, if you get a case without, like we definitely recommend picking these up, because again, it keeps them clean. You don't have to worry about cleaning them so often. And it just keeps them Yeah, clean. and in the case you don't put it in right, you don't want to have to make sure nothing like hits the lenses or anything like that, so, so it has protection. Yeah. And, and having it inside the case is gonna keep it protected from any kind of dust buildup. Here's your little... Little strap. Strap. <laughs> a shoulder strap, yeah. So another really good pickup yeah. for the PlayStation VR too. All right, next up for all you streamers out there is the PS5 HD camera. So if again, if you're into streaming and you wanna capture all your awesome PSVR2 gameplay, you can pick this up. It is $60 and it records in 1080p, which is nice. And it also has built-in background removal tools. So you can also show your gameplay and have like a picture in picture kind of mode where you can crop out the background of your footage and just have you in pose and showing all your cool VR exploits. Exploits. Yeah. <laughs> so again, if you're streaming, another great pickup with the HD camera. All right, so moving right along, in my opinion, Gran Turismo 7 VR is the killer app for PSVR 2. Yeah. And if you're doing that, you know, the controller is nice with the you know, the dual sense with the uh, the haptics and everything. But you already but, have such good immersion with this. Why not yeah, take it so to the next level? Taking it to another <laughs> level is a wheel and pedal set. And we didn't want to break the bank on it because, you know, we already have the sim rig and everything mm -hmm. like that. But the Logitech G923 is, is a nice affordable 
uh, wheel and pedal set. Now, like 400 bucks, yes, for wheels and pedal sets, they're decent. That is a good price. We got it for 339 and I think... Yeah, we did get it on the, sale with the shifter. Yeah, with the shifter, yeah. I think it was like 450 or like normally it, it, would, it would have been like more than that. I think we got it somewhere around yes. there. Um, or it might have got it all for 300. Yeah, I think, I think it worked did. out. I think it worked out to be 400 with the wheel and pedal set. Where does usually it would have so. been like 450? So that's what it was. Yeah. But the, on Amazon. Yeah, on Amazon. The Logitech G923. Like I said, it's a nice entry level wheel. Uh, wheel and pedal set. The wheel is leather wrapped. It has like shifter lights on it. Uh, the paddle shifts and that. And we we do have the the manual as well. But the pedals are surprisingly like really decent. Now they're not potentiometer, they're like some kind of progressive spring. They almost feel like low cell pedals. So, you know, that's really nice. You're gonna get real realistic braking. And it has like the true force, which is gonna give you like, you know, some haptic kind of feedback for like tire lockup and like, uh, they say like horsepower, however they do that and like some kind of like, um, you know, weight shift of the vehicle. So just another level of immersion. Like your miles may vary on that. I know some people are saying it's not, not that, but it is included. So maybe with a software update, it'll be even better over time. But that uh, that is included with this as well. So, you know, the wheel and pedal set at a level level immersion with the killer app, in my opinion, of the Gran Turismo 7. Yeah, and Logitech makes some really good accessories, especially for the yeah. PlayStation. So. It's really nicely made, it's metal yeah. and leather, uh, wrapped steering wheel. So yeah, definitely nice portable wheel. Yeah. So that's our top five PSVR 2 accessories to up the gaming experience, but just a couple of bonus. So if you have glasses, so you can wear glasses with this, which is really nice. I have glasses and I have worn them. But the only issue that might you might run into is you do not want it to touch the, the lenses. lenses. Yeah. So that's always kind of like a little sketchy thing. Like you, you know, scratch the you lenses, that's, worry a, about. that's a bad deal. Yeah, so yeah. you might want to pick up a pair of prescription lenses. Now, do you remember the company that is... I don't yeah, even know if like they're a, out yet, yeah, but I know, I know they're out, out yet. But yeah, there's some coming. We'll put it in we'll, the description. We'll put it in the description, yeah. Yeah, but pick up some prescription lenses. Also, an extension cable. So if you have a bigger space and you want right. to be able to use that space, this is I think 15, 15 yeah, about feet, 15 right? feet. So if you want a little extra room. Yeah, I think you can't like for the signal to be good. I think it's no more than three meters, but we'll have uh, an example so, of a cable that you can use for that. Yeah, and I don't think you need it um, because with the kind of accordion light blocker on it, you really don't see any light. But if you do happen to have some light and you really like playing in an absolutely dark environment to just have that extra level of immersion. Um, you can get an illuminate, illuminator infrared light that will so still allow for tracking. Uh, but you know, again, you can play in the dark if you want to do that. Mm -hmm. And a microfiber cloth. Like, yeah. you know, this thing gets dirty. The lenses, if you need to clean those, you might want to pick up yeah. a Definitely, the, I would. The original PSVR came with yeah, the this lens. Did. This one didn't. So yeah, you want to yeah. pick up a nice quality microfiber. Uh, that cloth that'll be good. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, that's gonna do it. But you know, these are uh, some accessories that we think will increase your PSVR uh, gaming experience, and, and we have them, and it definitely enhances the experience yeah. uh, that we we're having with it. And uh, we're looking forward to more games coming out on it. But that's gonna do it for this one, guys. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.